Hey Paolo, we're sitting here under the shade of our lovely tree here because you were helping out uh, Augustine and checking out what she's doing for her project this morning. And it's August in Alabama, so you know what that means, right? Hot heat, heat and uh, humidity. Um, so yeah, we're really happy to have you here and it's kind of well-timed because your product is going to be released and for sale for purchase for beekeepers around the country coming up here soon, right? Yes, yes. So first of all, Thank you so much for the welcome, and, uh, and yes, uh, uh, I think it's the right right time to, to be in the U.S. and uh, here in Alabama uh, because our new Barroa product, Barroxan, is going to be launched to the U.S. market at any time yeah. in the next few few days. Uh, so yeah. So what's what's in the bag here? So here in the back is uh, what this is for the, the study that we are running here in, in Alabama with, uh, with you. Uh, but this is a, a, a pack with, uh, full of 60 uh, strips. Each uh, strip has uh, an 18% of oxalic acid. Yeah? Okay. It's a mixture of glycerin and, uh, and oxalic acid. But uh, the product uh, the strip has a lot of technology and know-how behind the, 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 the strip. It's not only uh, a normal cargo strip yeah. or oxalic acid pad that the keeper used to make at home. Uh, we have a lot of technology and a, and a lot of quality behind this, this product. Okay, so how does, um, I mean it's super new now for beekeepers here. Um, can you uh, kind of like describe how they would apply apply the strips to their colonies? Yeah, so I mean, uh, first of all, we, it's nice to say that this is uh, a veterinarian product uh, and that means that quality is really, really uh, an important thing because we can ensure that each strip will have the same amount of uh, oxalic acid mm -hmm. and this is really important for, for the beekeepers. And, uh, Behind the strip, there are other technology like the, the type of cardboard that we are using that uh, allow the strip to remain inside the colony up to eight weeks. Okay. So you can cover three cycle of the, 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 the bees uh, and you are treating and taking care of the bees for at least 56 days. Okay, and that's going to be, that's on the label that'll be recommended for application? For application. Okay. Gotcha. So uh, for a colony, the, the recommended dose is one strip every two frames and a half of bees. Okay. So a, a colony of 10 frames will have four strips. Four strips. Yeah. Is, there a, is there going to be a maximum number that can be applied in a colony? Let's say like the average, a lot of commercial beekeepers here, any beekeeper would have kind of a double deep. So yeah. does that mean like four probably is the... the I mean, uh, we are working on, on that uh, right now is one strip every two and a half frame of bees. But uh, probably if, if you have uh, double uh, deep uh, brew boxes and uh, only on the top you have three or four frames with brood yeah. with only two strips on the top will be, will be okay. So okay. it will be four plus two. Okay. Uh, so maximum gotcha. of, of six. Six in that case. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We, okay. we have studies showing that uh, it's really safe for, for, for bees. So okay. it's not a problem. Okay. And basically you need to take a strip from the pack, uh, fold it. And place it between the okay. the frames, over yeah? the top bar there, in, yeah. Uh, in that in that position, yeah. uh, and try to to uh, put as much uh, vertical as you can to yeah. avoid touching the the other part of the frame. Yeah. Otherwise, the bees are going to remove the the brew that is near okay. the, the strip. Okay. But yeah, if you can hold yeah. the, the strip as much. Yeah. And you want bees to be able to walk on either side of this. Strip yeah, so here. that is really important that the bees walk around the strip because yeah. it's the, the way that they will take a small part of the active ingredient and distribute around the, okay. the colony. So it's important that the strip are placed where the, 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 the bees are, the, um, uh, the cluster of the, yeah. the bees. So it's something that is in the label is that uh, you can move the strip after a few weeks. Okay, uh, to it, follow it, where the brood... Yeah, it, because yeah. sometimes the bees uh, try to avoid the, the strip and they start moving uh, to one side or another side of the colony. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can place the, the, the strip in, in, the, in the middle of, of, the, of the bees if they 
move away. So in that way, you can ensure the bees will continue touching the, the, the strip. Okay. And I know, I mean, a lot of beekeepers are probably interested just to put it in and come back, I guess, um, at the end of that kind of cycle, application cycle. So what would they, what would they be able to or expect to see with this strip? Like, are they able, they're going to have to be prepared to remove the strip after the application, I guess? Yeah, so like I said at the beginning, the type of carbon allows the product to remain inside the colony for eight weeks. Okay. That is quite important, so you don't need to retreat on go away again to, to treat yep. your, your colony. But it is really, really important to remove whatever is left. Okay. Because bees are going to remove part of the strip, yep. but whatever is left, after a week, you must to remove must it. Remove after yeah. Weeks, okay. Otherwise, you are helping Varroa to develop resistance. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So okay. yeah, you need to remove it. What um, um, I guess like what makes your product novel? I mean, there's there are several products out there, different active ingredients. So, I mean, what what would be one one reason why you think a beekeeper here in the U.S. would well, I mean, in, in the U.S., uh, we know that in the last couple of years there were a lot of problems with other uh, products, I mean, with active ingredients like uh, Taflobalinate or, or Amitraft are resistant to, to those chemicals. Uh, Barroxan is based on oxaliacid. acid. But so far, there is no uh, uh, information about resistance. resistance yeah. uh, even it's still important to remove the product after eight weeks, even though we, yeah, we don't have any signs of resistance. No, developing but right, uh, yeah. we need to, to yeah, be cautious. To be, yeah, <laughs> otherwise yeah. it will yeah. happen at some point. So uh, one of the main point is that it's an organic product. It's based on oxalic acid. Uh, the other, the, the next point is that the type of carbon, like I, I said a couple of times, allow you to keep the treatment for. Uh, 56 days of, of free cycle of the bees. Uh, it's allowed and in, in the US to use uh, when you have your super on. So during okay. the, the honey uh, season, if yeah. you need to treat, we yeah. do not recommend it to you to do it. Yeah. But if you need to treat it because there is a emergency, of, yeah, emergency yeah. you can use it and you can uh, harvest the, the honey and yeah. eat it. So it's, it's allowed to use it during the, 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 the honey flow. Um, yeah. So there are a few of the advantages for the yep. for the US beekeeper. Uh, it's a product ready to use. It's a product each strip has the same amount of active ingredient. Yep. It's a product that is very easy to, to fold it and, and place it and, and remain very stable inside the, yep. the the colony. So yeah, it's a it's a new novel uh, product. It's go into the US market. Okay. And can a beekeeper, where can they find that? Any 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 state is it going to be available in? Okay, it, it will be registered in all the state in a few weeks. Okay. We, we, uh, we started to register in all the state yeah. uh, like two months ago Okay. because it's registered with the EPA, yeah. uh, federal registration. EPA, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we just submitted the registration in California, which always is okay. after the, the EPA is registered, yeah. you need to start the process in California. So in California, will be in one or two years. But in all the other states, will be in a few weeks, will be all the state registered. So far, I have uh, at least 40 states already registered. Okay. And Alabama is, is one of them. In fact, uh, Prada should be in Alabama uh, to be Pretty soon. yeah this week or next week okay all right well thanks uh, Paolo from Vita Europe really appreciate that you popped in to to check on our our trial that Augustina is running and um, yeah no thank you you and, and Agustina for for being interested on testing Barroxan uh, because your result will help the the local keepers so thank you so much for your time and for your help. Okay, so we're in the bee lab now, appreciating our air conditioning. Um, we saw, Augustine, you were collecting some samples out in the field for part of that Varroxan trial. So, uh, yeah, what's going on? What's going on here? What's the next steps with the Varroa? Okay, after assessing all the colonies uh, in the field, we bring these cups with the bee samples for washing and see how many mice they have in it. So we bring 75 of these cups. And after uh, filtering the mites and the bees here, we have the cups with the bees and we are counting all samples. So we have 
the number of mites, the number of fish, and we are calculating the percentage of infestation of each colony after 20 days, okay. 21 of treatments now. Okay. And is this, is this following that triple rinse method that the Beam Forum Partnership was, was using? Yeah, that's yeah. true. So we uh -huh. use uh, these sievers and we do the triple rinse and after that we separate the mites from the bees. Yeah, yeah. and we've, we've been working on kind of standardized approach, but I think that's still in kind of development with like mm -hmm. a, a shaker table. Um, so yeah, we're using alcohol right now and I know there's a lot of interest in in um, using soapy water too mm -hmm. that have been pretty successful too. Yeah. yeah, we shake this for one minute so it reduces the time that you are spending in each sample yeah. and also the triple rinse it takes like two minutes per colony after that so yeah. maybe counting the bees is the more time consuming yeah. task but you can save all the bees at the end and then use this counter mm -hmm. so you it's faster and you count all the samples. Okay, so Everyone watching is probably really wondering when they're going to see some results. So what do we what do we think? We know it all takes a bit of time to go through and run the trials. So. Yeah, we are in the middle of our, our evaluation. The product has been in the colonies for 21 days now. And we are hoping that in the next 25 days, we have another round of sampling yeah. that will fit with the six, 55 days that we are using the product. Yeah. Plus, you got to process everything and do the analysis. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, hopefully, at the, near the end of 2024. We'll yeah, that results. would be great. Yeah, so, okay. Well, thanks, Augustina, for letting no, uh, us tag along today. And thanks again. Thank you.